Good morning, everybody. It's time for our morning uh, daily devotion and prayer time this morning. Uh, our devotion this morning is entitled Love, Love, Love. And our scripture reading today comes from John chapter 15, beginning at the 12th verse, and it talks about love and what that looks like. All right, so our reading today. Um, this is my commandment that you love one, one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all that I have heard from my father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should do should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should abide so that whatever you ask the father in my name he may give it to you these things i command you so that you will love one another and that's our reading for this morning and our devotion again is entitled love 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 every day we say that we love so many different things we love donuts we love our friends we love school and sports, but when we say we love these things, we mean that we really, really like them. When God says he loves us, he does not mean it in the same way as when we say we love something. In John chapter 15, 12 through 17, which we just read, God talks about how to love. He says that we should, we should love as he loved all of us. As humans, we might love chocolate chip cookies one day and sugar cookies the next. But God's love for us does not change. Our great and mighty God loves each one of us the same every day. God loves us despite all of our sin. He loves us so much that he sent his only son to die on the cross to save us from our sins. He loves us so much. One, our love for things like donuts will never compare to the love we are shown by our God. Even though we do not deserve God's love, he continues to love us anyway. And that's our devotion this morning. Now, I guess for me, there's three takeaways out of this and then three different parts of the devotion today. Um, first of all, uh, at the top, I'm going to talk about when God says he loves us, he doesn't love us the same way when we say we love something. That's very true. Um, <laughs> today, I may love having a donut for breakfast. And I love donuts, but that doesn't mean it's it's the same kind. Of, not it's not the same kind of love. Um, rather, he says that we should love as he loved us. And now God's love for us is not something. At least this, I don't think that we can comprehend. It's God's love is so much deeper, wider, and all that that we as humans we can't comprehend that. The second piece, uh, God loves each one of us every the same every day, despite our sin. His love for us doesn't change today because we were better today than we were yesterday. Um, sometimes I think we find that we may um, like a friend today and not tomorrow, or we may love someone tomorrow that we didn't like so much today. Um, we are thankful that, you know, God doesn't treat us that way. God loves us the same each and every day. God is unchanging. He loves us each and every day. The third piece, um, even though we don't deserve God's love, He continues to love us anyway. Um, I think there are many times that we can, if we're honest with, our, with ourselves, we can say that, you know, I don't deserve God's love today. I, what I did is not worthy of that. Um, I think about sometimes, you know, this is maybe for kids, maybe this is for us adults too, I guess. Um, someone we love has done something really incredibly awesome for us. Or given us something awesome or whatever or love just loves us just because and we just don't feel like we deserve it um, but they love us anyway and that feeling that it gives us when we're not feeling that way and that, that someone does love us and does this super awesome amazing thing for us or gives us or whatever it is that feeling is just, it's a great feeling um, and I think back as I was you know meditating over this this morning that, that thing that we don't deserve. I, I keep going back to um, what God, when God sent us on Jesus to, to, to come down to die on the cross for us. Um, I, I have that image of my mind, and it's not been all that long since, since Good Friday and, and, and Easter Sunday, but uh, 
I think about it, any of you, any of you have ever watched The Passion of the Christ, um, which I did a number of years ago, um, that image is in my head of uh, Jesus on the cross and what he did dying on the cross for us, that image is seared in my mind, that, that love that we just, you and I just can't comprehend, um, but he did it for us and for everyone, then, today, and tomorrow. And that love is just far more than we can comprehend. And I just pray that we can remember that as we go through today and the next days that, you know, God loves us so very, very much. And what he asks is that we love others like he loves us. Um, not like we love a donut for today or that really awesome pizza we had for dinner last night. That was just way beyond amazing. God's love is far more than that. Um, but that we not, not that we, and just be careful, we not just love that, but we love our neighbors in that, in that same fashion as best as we can. Um, and certainly today, the, our neighbors, the people we come in contact with, could certainly use that love today as we are, you know, for most of us staying in our homes and, and not having as much one-on-one uh, -on -one contact, but we still need to feel that love. So uh, I guess my thing for today would be to show that love to, to someone that, you, that you're around today. And the kids, that could be for your mom and dad or grandma and grandpa, whoever that is, and for us adults, it's whoever we come in contact with today. So um, anyway, so that's, you know, show love. Anyway, the, the task for today's kids, uh, if they would choose to do that today, would be to draw a big heart on a piece of paper, and in that heart, write words or draw pictures of the things and people in your life that you love. And then outside of that heart, write the words to John 15, 13, greater the love has no one. That would be the activity for today that goes with the devotions. If you kids want to do that, would be awesome. would love to see that. Um, and that's where we are. So let us pray. Dear God, thank you so much for your love. Thank you for sending your only son to earth to live, die, and rise again to forgive all my sins. I love you. Help me show your love to other people in my life. I want everyone to know you. And dear Heavenly Father, I lift my head to a new day and ask that nothing may separate me from your love this day. Help me to walk by faith and not by sight, as I trust in your word and the promises you have given. I ask that your grace would be sufficient to keep my heart pure and protect me from my own careless thoughts, words, and deeds. I am thankful that your love for me is evident in all the many blessings you have bestowed upon me. Watch over me this day, protect me, guide me, and help me to do your will. Provide me opportunities to share the good news of your Son, Jesus Christ, with others. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Lord, I pray, we pray for all of our families today, and most especially this week, are the Van Osdales with Macy, Aaliyah, and Zane, for Mr. and Mrs. Whirling, and for Mr. and Mrs. White. We pray that you would... Uh, Give them an extra measure of your love and that they would in turn would give that love to someone else. Uh, we pray for all of our teachers and all the teachers uh, for extra, extra time and extra hats they wear each and every day. For pastors and, and all their, their hard work to, as well. Uh, we continue to pray for our national, state, and local leaders as things, things continue to emerge and we pray for wisdom uh, that, they, that you would give them wisdom to make right decisions. We pray for all, all first responders. We pray for those now, providing services for the essential services for us so that we may have as relatively normal life as we can during the stay at home time. We continue to pray for Mrs. Harris and her dad and the lac laparoscopic uh, procedure he will be having, and for uh, her husband Josh's uh, uncle, who there, well, there's still no complete answers there yet, for Mrs. Hines and her, and her brother in law, uh, and for Mrs. Meal and her brother and the family. Uh, Praise God that her brother is home now and recovering and taking next steps. We continue to pray for Mr. Stell and his continued recovery from, from the cancer uh, treatments he had. We pray for the for Mindy Book and for her son Peyton as they um, work to recover from the COVID-19 virus that they have. And we pray for the Cross family, uh, for Jill and her dad and um, Mike and her mom. Now just be with them, wrap your arms around this family and all of the other families that, that, that we pray for, all the ones that are in our hearts and in our minds. Help them to know you are there, that you love them in a way that we can't comprehend, and just help them to know that you are there for them. And we pray all these things in your name. Amen. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And finally, I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all of my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul in all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. All right. Thank you. All right. A couple of announcements this morning. Um, we'll go through. I will remind you, everybody, that next Wednesday is baptismal remembrance, and that the auction, uh, the PTL online auction, begins on Saturday. Um, hope, still hoping for more information to come on that. Uh, if nothing else, look at the PTL page uh, on Facebook and see what's up there. Um, have not heard any more about uh, PTL vice president or vice president, but I hope those are in your prayers. Um, the last thing I want to mention, I just I made announcements for the, for the faculty yesterday and wanted them to be the first to hear, um, and now parents will get that same notice today. Um, the school board has extended a call to, uh, to Faith Greenmeyer, uh, our potential new sixth grade teacher. Um, I'm excited about this one, uh, to have someone of her caliber available this time of the year. I'm just I'm really excited for her. Uh, Faith is a is a soon-to-be or graduate graduate of uh, Concordia, Nebraska. Um, she's graduating with a secondary a degree in secondary education and endorsement in uh, English and language arts. Um, her husband will be um, starting at the seminary this fall, uh, so there are you know preferably once they well, if once they accept, um, they're looking to be here by mid June. Um, I've been in contact with her several times over the last. Uh, several days in the week. Um, she's excited about coming. She truly is. Um, I hope you'll be excited too and I hope that you will keep her in your prayers as we go through this process over the next several weeks. Um, so the call box hopefully, documents will hopefully be going out to her next week and she will consider them. They'll go through her placement director at the of Nebraska and then all, all that process. It's a little bit longer process but I think uh, she'll be a great addition to our faculty. I think um, just a wonderful, wonderful young ask that you keep her in your prayers um, so that we have that you know and yeah be a great addition to our faculty so anyway as soon as I know more about that I will share that with you as well um, and we'll just take it one step at a time from there so anyway um, as you go out to, through the day today um, think about God's love for you and how that how you might be able to share that love with someone else uh, whether it's a nice step from the kids share, share to mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, aunt, and uncle, whoever it is, or whether it's you to somebody else. But in the end, know that you are loved far greater than anything you could ask for or imagine by a God that loves you so, so very much. So, and have a great day and live in God's love today. God's blessings.